Today we are going to see as to why Pastor Ezekiel is risking is risking the jail terms is risking pia him getting jailed again guys pastor ezekiel is a disturbed man as at the moment as pawat we have on the table and as pawat is being displayed by him himself pastor ezekiel is a disturbed man today tunasikia ya kwamba ndio huyo anaelekea miracle maximum miracle center and he was there kwanza he announced this as an ad or what atakuwa pale na kutakuwa na sherehe za meza ya Bwana the meza ya Bwana staff imekuwa na maswali mengi sana maswali mengi sana kumekuwa na mambo ama ma, mambo tetesi ya kwamba meza ya Bwana ndio chanzo cha brain washing you know meza ya Bwana the holy communion Manake kumekuwa tena na tetesi ya kwamba vile vitu ambavyo watu wanapewa wanywe basi vinatiwa kuna vitu ambavyo vinatiliwa ndani na ukisha kunywa hivi you become an ardent follower ila hizo ni mambo tu ambazo ambayo yamesemwa bado hayajasanifishwa hayajafanyiwa uchunguzi basi today we are going to see as to why pastor Ezekiel is risking is risking the jail terms is risking pia him getting jailed again and as to why he is still a disturbed man kwanza mnajua tangu atolewe ndani akaunti zake zikafungwa television yake ikafungwa na aliweza kutumia lawyers kuomba akaunti zake za banki za benki zifunguliwe kwa sababu kuna watu pale mliona new life church center si kanisa dogo watu wanafanya kazi pale asubuhi na mchana wanahitaji kulipwa hata kama ilisimamishwa walikuwa wamefanya kazi wanahitaji kulipwa mjui terms zao zilikuwa vipi pengine ilikuwa wanalipwa mwisho wa wiki ama mwisho wa mwezi kufungia mhubiri accounts imemparalyze sana na inafanya pia kuwe disturbed psychologically ana pengine haya mambo ambayo anaendelea anazidi kufanya yanaweza kumharibia kwanza kabisa why would we say mbona tuseme mambo ambayo pastor Ezekiel anafanya yatamharibia Ukiangalia mwanzo kwa nini Ezekiel alishikwa? Alishikwa kwa sababu kulikuwa na tetesi yeye pamoja na makenzi ni kama wamekuwa ndugu ndugu pale katika masuala yao ya kikanisa. Kwa kuwa na tetesi alikuwa mshirika, walikuwa wanafanya kazi pamoja, bali hizo tetesi zote tuliweza kufikia kilele chake siku ambayo DCI walienda kutembea kule ndani kuchunguza jumba lake ama kanisa lake. Jambo la kwanza Unapata the links what is making us say that Pastor Ezekiel's life is in danger or might he might be risking his own life for imprisonment why kwa sababu there zile links ambazo zilikuwa pale links za money laundry links za brainwashing brainwashing ndio imefanya haya mambo yafanyike kule shakahola brainwashing na chanzo cha brainwashing kili, ilisemekana ya kwamba ni hii kitu inaitwa meza ya Bwana and brainwashing yenyewe unapata inafanya watu wafanye mambo yasiyo ya kawaida wengine wana fast paka nasikia kukufa na hili jambo ambalo tumeona leo the traffic that was at the maximum miracle center paka unapata magari hayawezi kupita can you imagine an accident ifanyike kama jambo kama kama ameita mkutano kama huo. Si utasikia tena wamekufa brainwashing. This is the reason number one as we tunasema he might be risking or he is risking himself again arudi nda arudi ndani. Vile vifo vya shakahola ni vya brainwashing. Na haya mambo ambayo tunaona pia ni karibu sana na brainwashed. Kuwa tu kwa brainwashed. Pia tunaona majani jana nimeoletea blog hapa nikisema kuna wagonjwa zaidi ambao bado wanazidi kumiminika katika kanisa lake Pastor Ezekiel. Na tulikuwa tunaambiwa katika hilo kanisa wale wagonjwa kuna vidi, kuna vitengo. Wagonjwa zaidi wanakaa madhabahuni, wagonjwa alafu wagonjwa alafu wagonjwa kidogo wanakaa kule nyuma. Ba tukiangalia hawa wagonjwa tukasema jana kuna magonjwa mengine ambapo mimi kama mtu ambaye nina imani najua kuna magonjwa ambayo hayahitaji daktari yanahitaji maombi magonjwa ya kichawi 
magonjwa ya ushirikina na yanajulikana mtu anaenda hospitali hana anapimwa mwili daktari hawaoni chochote ukiangalia vizuri kuna kichawi pale ndani mtu kama huyu anafu alafu sana ruhusa pia na haki kwenda kuombewa lakini huyu mtu mnaona yenyewe akona na malaria daktari anasema huyu ako na ukimwi paka unaona tests are positive ako na ukimwi inatakana ameze dawa lakini yeye anajituma pale anasema nitapona kwa imani mwishowe anakufa that's what you call brainwash huyu ako na malaria anahitaji dawa daktari akipima anaona ako na malaria And many preachers have taken advantage of that. Unapata paka they fake the miracles, they bring fake doctors, wanapima mtu ako na ukimwi, then wanaleta after a few days ameombewa amepona, wanapima tena amepona. Kumbe the doctor was corrupted. Hiyo inasaidi watu wengine zaidi walio na ukimwi pia wanakuja. Inafanya paka sasa wale walio na magonjwa yanayoonekana pia wanakuja wakidania watapona. Kumbe it's just to give a man glory, not God. Such things ndiyo tunasema zitafanya nani? Zitafanya mambo ya Ezekiel hata kama bado yangali kotini, pengine yatakuwa compromised. The fasting doctrine ambayo iko pale pia na pia mliona Alshifa. Sisi hapa tuogopi ku promote wenzetu. Kuna mwenzangu pale anaitwa Alshifa Media. Anasema nini? Kuna mtu amekuja pale amekuwa kule kwa makenzi kwa not kwa makenzi kwa pastor Ezekiel alifanya fake miracle ya kusijui kuwa gorged macho akakuja pale akapeana testimony aliahidiwa shilingi laki mia moja. paka wa leo hajapewa na huni mhubiri ambaye bado tunasikia na cause traffic kule town bado tuna maswali mengi ya kujiuliza na bado na maswali mengi ya kukuuliza wewe kama mtazamaji je ni sawa I'll just read for you this blog but before that just answer pale chini. Ni sawa Ezekiel saa hizi kufanya mambo ambayo anafanya ama angoje mambo yake ya kotini ya kuisha. So hundreds assembled at Pastor Pius Muiru's Maximum Miracle Center on Wednesday to meet Pastor Ezekiel Odero. Pastor Ezekiel is under investigations over links to the Shakahola massacre. Wanasema mamia ya watu walikusanyika pale Miracle Center town kwa Pastor Pius Muiru. Kuangalia kuwa kukutana nane na na Pastor Ezekiel. Na wanasema bado Pastor Ezekiel hako katika nini? Bado hajajibu mashtaka yake ya Shakahola. Ameachiliwa tu kwa muda mchache. The church which is located within the city was full to capacity forcing others to follow the proceedings from the streets. Paka watu wanaketi nje hawasikii chochote bali wako tu pale wanaangalia tu. <laughs> Kuanzia leo nimepona na nimeokoka. Hivyo ndio walikuwa kishout pale nje. Mnapata hapa kuna mtu Twitter anaitwa Umwamba. Anaandika look at how thousands of people are gathered outside Pastor Pius Muiru's Maximum Miracle Center to see Pastor Ezekiel who is on his visit to Nairobi. Ezekiel is visiting Muiru's church following his release from jail on a 3 million bond with a surety of a similar amount of an alternative 1.5 billion million. Hii ni pesa mingi sana na mliona Pastor Pius Muru alikuwa vocal sana pale kotini akitetea akisema huyu ni mtoto wake wa nini mtoto wake wa kiroho So the preacher on Tuesday sought a court order allowing him to withdraw 50 million from his frozen account Niliwaambia amefungiwa account na paka anatuma bado court order aweze kutoa kama ni milioni ya msini alipe wafanyakazi wake na mambo yaendelee pale katika New Life Church Center manake pia kuna shule ambazo zastahili kuendelea kuna wanafunzi wamekuwa pale wamekuwa enroll wanastahili kusoma Mimi nitafungia pale bali pia nalamika akisema the closure of my account has an astronomical negative impact on the church and school's operation as over 2000 students daily upkeep will present a logistical nightmare mambo ya kustajabisha na anasema ku, kufreeza accounts zake za benki ni kumnyima haki yake ni kando na haki za binadamu si tunasema tu tujibuni pale chini tukiendelea kufanya uchunguzi tukiendelea kuwaletea habari kila siku subscribe and turn on the bell notification bye bye